A fantastic trick goal has become an internet video sensation. Good morning. Good morning. Right. So let's set this up a little bit. This is a kind of a one-on-one -on -one tournament. This was at what? Was that this at the Garden in Boston? Yeah, this was at the surprise. surprise. So you go on then in this tournament. English goalies that you'll face. <laughs> Very good stuff. Thank you, Harry. Now to H1N1. There have been 81 child deaths from the virus so far. This morning, we're bringing you the story of a child who was on the brink of becoming one of those casualties, but he fought back against the virus. Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with that. Good morning Good to you. Good morning, Maggie. This is incredible. Cameron Perosi nearly died this summer from the swine flu, but tomorrow, just in time for her ninth birthday, she will get the best gift of all, the return of her health. It's important to remember that rapid flu tests are not 100% accurate, so doctors and parents really need to rely on their judgment and monitor the progression of symptoms, Maggie. In fact, wasn't Cameron tested two times and That's it came right. back negative? That's right. Now, remember, very few tests are 100% accurate, and these rapid flu tests range in accuracy from 40 to the low 80 percentile range. So if someone is at high risk, like Cameron, who had asthma, asthma. you really need to be aggressive in following those symptoms and get early treatment. Treatment. If the symptoms don't improve, even if the test was negative, go back again. Stay on it. Absolutely. Thank you, Jen. Coming up next, we're going to talk about small food with big flavor.